Good morning, it's Wednesday morning, and here we are today at Matthew 10, 28 through 31. Do not fear those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. Rather, fear him who can destroy both soul and body in hell. Are not two sparrows sold for a penny? And not one of them will fall to the ground apart from your father. But even the hairs of your head are all numbered. Fear not, therefore, you are of more value than many sparrows. Again, we have a sort of a collection of loosely related verses that, um, that Matthew has, has put together. And um, Jesus, though, is, is encouraging us and saying, you know, it, you're going to be fine because God takes care of you. God takes care of the birds, and you're much more important than the little birds. And yet, uh, he cares for the birds. Uh, he's numbered the hairs of your head. You know, nothing is going to happen to you that he's not uh, aware of and in charge of. And so, have confidence. Have confidence. God will take care of you. Um, I think that's true. Um, probably much more true than we moderns like to think. Uh, and I think that... Um, God does take care of us. It's um, sometimes we just look at the things that we wish God would do that haven't happened or, or the things that have happened that we wish wouldn't happen. And we think, well, you know, what's God doing? Doesn't he know what he's doing? You know, if we were in charge, it'd be much better, right? Except that we're not in charge and we couldn't handle it and it wouldn't be better if we could control every detail of, of everything. Um, but... But our hairs, the hairs of our head are numbered, uh, which is to say that everything, the smallest details, God is in control of. Um, and, and so we don't, have to, we don't have to be afraid. And don't be afraid of those who can kill you, you know. Be afraid of that one that can kill your soul in hell. Um, and so everything is sort of, ratcheted up a degree you know don't worry about this life it's going to be all right worry about about um, eternity um, you see God the, the thing is that God loves us and he loves us more than we can imagine and he wants us to be um, his joyful and faithful people he wants us to acknowledge him and to love him and to serve him in everything that we do. And if we can do that um, hu with humility, we find that life's pretty good. Despite the, the trouble that we have in life, life is pretty good. And if we can, if we can keep that attitude, um, we could be like those little birds that fly around. You know, they hop from one branch to the other and they don't care. They just enjoy what they're doing. I always wonder where they go when it rains. You know, when there's a big, terrible storm and windstorm, where are the birds? They're hiding someplace. Don't tell me they're sitting in some nest because, you know, in the rain. But I don't know where they go, uh, how, how they do it. But, but they always look like they're just happy. Now, maybe they're desperate looking for food and stuff, and I'm, I'm not aware of. But but the birds always seem to have no cares. And that's, I think, the way Jesus is trying to get us to live. God's taking care of us. Don't worry about everything. I think he's, I think he's right. I think that's the way we should approach it. So let's try that today. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a great one.